Today, I want to walk you through how to create multi-steps form. So I, I've got the form example on the left hand side. As you can see here, so I got the property of 15 fields to fill out. And then, uh, so this is too much for users. And the way you can improve that is, is you can break things up. Uh, you've seen this a lot uh, when you fill out the form, especially it's a long form. So I divided it, this long form into four different segments. So, uh, so this way the user is not going to be so intimida intimidated. So uh, with Elementor Pro, uh, you can create a form easily and also you can create multi-step form easily. So uh, let me show that to you. Okay, today I'm working on a website worksheet. So, so this is the form that uh, my prospect uh, have to fill, in, fill out so that uh, I get a good idea of uh, what kind of project they are looking for. And then, you know, if you look at the, this type of list, uh, it's pretty intimidating. So I like to break it up today. So if you look at uh, on the left hand side here, so I got so many stuff here. And if you have Elementor Pro, uh, you can you can have um, it's called uh, uh, form element here. So you can just drag and drop. So that's what I did. And here I can just show that to you here. So you can automatically f uh, fill out name, email, and you can customize that, of course. So I'm gonna just delete this part. Uh, here the first name so you have to fill out the label so label is on top here now placeholder if you type that so it shows on the uh, inside the box but uh, in my case I don't think I need that and here if this field is required and uh, you can check and I uncheck and check so um, if I want to add something new add this area so uh, let's say you know there are lots of things here uh, you can put in. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, URL, and then the label said you know tell me your website URL, and then now uh, so this case I'm not gonna put that required, and I like to put that on top of here maybe a bit just below the email so you can just drag and then move it up here. It's right here. All right. And you can style uh, this form too. And you can uh, increase uh, this uh, the rows gap. And then uh, you can label, uh, sorry, you can space uh, between label and the field. And you can change colors. And then uh, you can change the background field. Uh, okay, that's too much. You know. And I'm gonna leave it the light gray here. And even like change the button color too. Um, it's blue right now. Um, you know you can change that to different colors. So with Elementor Pro, you can break up. Uh, you can create multi steps. So let's work on that. So I'm gonna just uh, go back to uh, Edit Form and then uh, Add Item. And here I'm gonna move up to uh, very top here. So this is gonna be my first steps. So I'm gonna add this um, to the step one. And here, type, uh, you see step here. So you can do that. So now it says the first step here. And I'll do that the same thing um, at the next step. So add item. And then uh, steps, step. And then label, um, step two. And I'm gonna move up to going to be just below um, organization actually we're one below here all right so that's the step two and then the, the step three same thing so another step and uh, step three and I'm gonna move this up to here Okay, I'm gonna add another step here called step four and then move up to right here. So 
you can see one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna hit update. So let's take a quick look. Okay, so let's play with this form, see how uh, it's gonna turn out. So, uh, so this is just the preview and then uh, hit the next. Okay, that's cool. And I'm gonna just uh, put the fake text here. I'm gonna just copy that. Um, let's see. And then hit next, okay, step three. And I'm gonna just do that same thing. Hit the next three. And then, uh, and it's send. Okay, so it says form was sent successfully. Okay, that's good. Um, at least, for, uh, what else we can do here? And then let's see the step settings here. I think so. I'm curious. So this is the number and text. So this is the number of text. So you can change that uh, shape. Okay, that's cool. Circle. And then uh, what about uh, just text? Oh, I see. Okay, so now I, I'm sure I can. Pr uh, I'm pretty sure you can change that to size. Just go to style. And then, uh, so here are the steps here. Uh, okay. I see, so active and active, so completed. So you can change that uh, text and the number style here. So this is pretty cool. And then divide a width, okay, so that's cool. I'm gonna just keep it uh, simple here. And then gap, okay, you can change the gap here too. And then I like to increase the text size here. So I think this typography, oh, wait a minute. It's, okay, so this is just the space here. And here, so I can probably change the typography here. And let's look at, um, yeah. So, and then I can pretty much, I can probably increase the size. Okay. Oh, I got the misspell here. I gotta change that. Go back. Okay. All right. Uh, step settings. So it looks like in modern text, and you can put the icons. Okay. Um, I'm probably not gonna use that. Okay, that's simple. Just number. Uh, progress bar. Okay. So this is cool. Um, actually, I like that. For my purpose, I'm gonna just leave it as uh, just a number and text. So instead of a step one, I'm gonna change the label to. So uh, instead of a step one, I'm gonna change the text here. I'll just uh, use it to uh, send a snapshot. And then uh, step two is uh, what are we doing? Step three question is, uh, what are we doing this for? Step four question is, uh, what does your success look like? Okay, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna adjust that text for sure. Okay, so I wonder maybe if I can increase the width. Uh, okay, so it doesn't really adjust here. Okay, so let's see, uh, go back to style here. And then uh, here, padding. Okay, so that looks better for the text side, but then actually it's on the top, uh, the number is kind of big, uh, but this may be okay. So I don't think you can style and adjust the text here. Uh, doesn't have much flexibilities, but uh, if I can uh, make it the square round, yeah, actually this is probably better. Um, it's kind of simplified. Okay, just keep it like that. Okay, and hit update. So you get idea. So it's quite easy to develop the form and multi-step forms with Elementor Pro. Now, before I let you go, uh, one more thing is that something like this, people fill out your form and submit, especially taking time to do that. Uh, I will prefer to uh, create a thank you page and after they submit so that uh, uh, you can redirect 
them to thank them showing your thank you page so uh, let me show you how quickly so here's the thank you page uh, here's the, just the page title here and then a quick message thank you for taking time to submit our project worksheet and let us review it and we'll get back to you within 24 hours and then uh, my name here and a little uh, picture of myself uh, if you look at it so this is not really pretty uh, there's no style but you can spend time to uh, make it more professional and something like that I've seen uh, uh, people are using a uh, uh, video message uh, more personalized and I'm gonna just go ahead and publish so this is a page I'm gonna just grab this uh, page URL uh, copy and then uh, back to this Elementor now uh, under form so af action after submit and then uh, you can send email to them and email to myself to get notified here there is the redirect so add that and now it shows the redirect and you can um, just paste that URL and then hit update okay so I fill out uh, step one to step four and then uh, I'm gonna just submit and send and see what happened and they redirect to my thank you page so this way you can let them know they can you can you can show your your appreciation that they spend time to fill this form and submit it and uh, you can customize your message too uh, you probably wonder so after somebody submit the form where the data stored right so the elementor pro form uh, they don't really store the data so that's kind of the the, the one the functionality is lacking and then uh, you need to install this uh, plugin it's called the form vibes so let's go ahead and install and just activate okay so I can just uh, skip this process I can just uh, leave it as default uh, save IP address uh, actually I don't really care about uh, keeping IP address so just uh, save changes okay so let's go back to this form and then uh, quickly um, go to preview so I'm gonna quickly fill out this form so that is the last step here and I hit submit or send so I know it's going to, uh, to my thank you page take a look at the submissions here okay so here it is cool so uh, select the form here so if you have multiple forms uh, you can uh, so you can select it and then here uh, here because I name it and save it here project worksheet so it's automatically uh, this plugin recognize uh, which form that is so which is pretty handy and see oh, okay so this is this is good and I'm sure um, here they select the actual so you should be able to export if you have lots of entries and sorry it took me a long time but we covered okay we covered three things today uh, so how to build multi-step form with Elementor Pro and number two is how to create a thank you page and you can redirect the user to the thank you page and then the last third thing is uh, how you can uh, add vibe form that form vibe and so that the, you can collect the data on on the WordPress server so those three things I uh, hope this helps and see you next time